<laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Christmas means extravaganza, big meals, and what are you serving this Christmas, Gagan? As always, I take on the drinks department, so I'll be sipping on the quintessential holiday drink, eggnog. The perfect, fantastic choice. You select the one item that is requires a lot of patience and is very easy for the rest of us. Yeah, I indeed have. There's something very fulfilling in doing so. You know, simple ingredients, almost like drinking a custard, so I don't mind. It's a calorie cannon, in fact, <laughs> made with milk, cream, sugar, whipped egg whites, egg yolk, and spirits like brandy, rum, whiskey, bourbon, all added to the drink. Wait a minute. Let's start from the scratch. Historically, it was called the milk punch or the egg milk punch with, um, you know, based on nog, which basically means strong ale. But that's not what I've heard. For me, I thought it was an egg and grog, which became the egg nog. Grog was the word for rum and noggin was the wooden ladle to serve drinks. So, who yeah. Yeah, but who said that noggin had egg nog inside it? The online etymology dictionary states clearly that egg nog is an American term from 1775. So let's not jump the gun yet, step by step. Well, okay. Yeah. So for festive season's sake, for the sake of peace and harmony <laughs> reigning, let's, let's let the argument slip and focus on something we can agree on. All right. Uh, would you agree on this, that in Britain, wine was the drink of aristocracy? Yep. All right. So earlier, beer and wine were used to make this drink. Later, sherry came in. And with sherry, uh, probably the party slightly shifted towards boozier alternative and finally evolved to hard spirits. So it was a posh drink with brews and ferments. No rum just yet, but if you go a step back, why was it being drunk in the first place? And do you know of a British drink called posset? I've heard. Isn't that the thing which has a uh, bill curdled with wine or ale and flavoured with spices? Yeah, that's right. Why was it drunk? I think in the Middle Ages, posset was more medicinal as a cold, cure for cold and flu remedies. Yeah, super. So eggnog is a descendant of posset, right? right? In the 13th century, monks were known to drink this uh, with eggs and figs. And uh, from monks as a medicine, it reached the aristocrats who anyway considered milk, egg and sherry as food of wealth. So that is the reason why you'll see often it was used as toast in prosperity and good health. So that, that makes sense. Yep. And brandy and rum came in a little later, even more when the drink crossed the Atlantic and reached America. But weren't these things wine and brandy heavily taxed there? Exactly. And that's the reason why the spirit was uh, replaced with Caribbean rum. Cheaper alternative. Right? And then it stayed. So much so that it became a festive drink from October till February. And even the first US president, George Washington, used to serve eggnog to all his visitors with whiskey and rye, rum, sherry, and yeah, he was a man with fine taste. Yeah, it actually was because of him that it was drunk till late February because his birthday was on 22nd. <laughs> yeah. So the whole nation celebrated it. Fancy. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why by the late 1800s, the drink evolved in various forms. The Modern Bartender's Guide from 7, 1878 lists them as plain eggnog, Baltimore, uh, General Jackson, Imperial eggnog, Sherry Cobbler eggnog, Malt Claret, Saratoga lemonade, on and on. And even outside the country, many of ours. The Mexican had a rompope with vanilla and cinnamon. Puerto Rican coquito that is coconut milk. And Peru's uh, Biblia con pisco with pisco. And the beer-based beer super, if you make it with white wine, the air punch. Yeah, we should also make a desi eggnog. Well, <laughs> but what are we tasting or what are we looking at now? Oh, Janak, Christmas is yet to be here. So now we are not drinking anything. We just get to watch the recipe. Our main man, Tobias Cavallo from Home Bar, rips us one. So Toby, brother, take it over. Hey guys, thanks for having me over and uh, compliments of the season to all you guys. So I'm actually seated at our terrace at home, uh, wonderful weather, perfect for Christmas. And I have the perfect drink with me, the eggnog. So let me just tell you how we do it at home. Uh, firstly, we separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. Uh, then I would actually whisk in some sugar with the egg yolks, make it a nice and fluffy and also the egg whites nice and fluffy. Uh, the third step would be getting heating up some milk and cream and then whisking it into the egg yolk. Whilst doing that I would also add some ginger juice and some spices. This, for spices I would use nutmeg and cinnamon. Uh, also remember we need to use almost warm milk. Uh, whisk it in. Once it's almost like a syrupy consistency, you would fold it with the egg white. Uh, keep whisking it till you have the perfect consistency for an eggnog, a thick eggnog. Later you can just add any spirits. Uh, my preference would be brandy as well as some dark rum. So cheers guys, that's the perfect eggnog for me. So Toby, what's your to-dos and must avoids for the perfect eggnog? What we do is do number one, okay, always make a big batch. Second part, always make sure your eggs are actually whisked, the, the yellow, the egg whites and the yellows separately and a proper consistency. Third one would be use always powdered form of spices. 
cinnamon or nutmeg uh, that you're using you can actually throw in some cloves also now coming to the don't part don't add too much alcohol secondly is don't allow allow milk to boil before adding it so you can always warm it up and then add the milk so that's my do's and don'ts so merry christmas to everyone cheers okay that looks tasty and nourishing yeah but don't be fooled for the taste you will end up drinking too many and then the booze will hit you so there was an incident that was called the eggnog riot in 1826 way before we were even born at the united states military academy in new york uh, alcohol was banned on the premise so the cadets you managed to get a ton of whiskey mixed it with their eggnog and hell broke loose 90 cadets when mad assaulted two of their officers broke windows uh, stake a banister shattered plates cups dishes etc later 11 students were expelled imagine this was the military academy you can only you can only imagine what the civilians would have gotten up to that so before things get out <laughs> of hand merry christmas to all of you eggnog toddy or mulled wine whatever you drink give us a shout and be well cheers, cheers.